Hi, thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about crochet hooks. Um, I wanted to do an essentials, so what's in my essentials kit, um, and the most essential thing is a crochet hook, and I just wanted to spend a couple of seconds, because when I first started crocheting, I wasn't sure which hook to get, which were the best, whether you needed expensive hooks, cheap, whatever, what was the difference? And I just wanted to tell you that no matter whether your hook is massive and made from plastic and tiny or tiny and made from metal as long as it's a stick with a hook on the end that one has got the tiniest hook on um, it's a crochet hook the only difference between these standard sort of crochet hooks and a different type of crochet hook is this Tunisian crochet hook which has the little tab on the end like um, a knitting needle does it's longer not quite as long as a knitting needle but it's longer than your standard crochet hooks tend to be and um, it has a hook rather than a point like a knitting needle and that's for a specific type of crochet called Tunisian crochet which I will be doing in this in this series of um, um, crochet videos um, and it's a little bit like knitting it comes out like a waffly texture the basic stitches anyway so that's the only sort of deviation. Otherwise, the hooks tend to be pretty much standard in terms of length, give or take a couple of centimetres, and they can be made of anything. These come in sets. Um, you can see them on the internet. They're really cheap. Um, they usually come in a pouch. Uh, you get a set in a range of sizes and different colours. They're just aluminium that's been painted, and they're cheap and cheerful and really, really good. These are amongst my favourites. Often with those you get a set of really tiny hooks which are below, um, below <clears throat> a millimetre, uh, sorry, below a centimetre in size um, uh, going down in sort of 25 millimetres, sort of quarter centimetres to really tiny to make lace from and little tiny decorations. Um, you need to really get to grips with crocheting before you start trying to do really intricate tiny tiny work I think. But these are great, the work slips and slides along them properly uh, really well. They're quite durable. I do have one that's a little bit bendy um, which is a really, I don't know if it's even, oh yeah this is here. This is um, this one, got a little bit bent, oh no not that one. Maybe it's an old one that I've got rid of now, but I did have one that was a little bit bendy because they are obviously not very big. But they're great, cheap and cheerful. You can also get sets of these acrylic hooks, which are quite funky, they're quite cheap, they come in lots of different colours, they look good. They look good on, uh, for props for photographs. Again, they come in a range of colour of sizes. They're quite cheap for the really big hooks, because when you get into the really big hooks they start to get a little bit more expensive but these are really reasonable the only thing I don't like about these is that I find my work tends, tends to stick to them it doesn't slide as easily as it does with the metal hooks these ones have got lights in these are really good if you're crocheting in the dark or if you're uh, for me when I use these is when I'm using black or navy or dark brown or dark grey because I find it very difficult to see the stitches so until I get going, I might use one of these because it's got an LED light in the in the end and it lights up the stitches really well. Also good if you're crocheting while you're watching telly and people in the in the room like the lights dim, or if you're travelling on a train. Or crochet is such a portable craft, a uh, ball of yarn and hook, and that's all you need, really. Um, wooden ones, I find they make my hands sore after a while, these straight wooden ones. Um, I know there's some wooden ergonomic ones that are like a sort of a bobbin shape. Um, I've never tried those, but uh, I will do at some point. But these do make my hands sore, and I find they also get quite hot and sticky. These chunky plastic ones, obviously you're doing chunky work, so... They can, you know, get a bit arduous after a time using them because you're, you're using big yarn and big big hooks. Um, but they do the job. They they do the job and they're great. These ones with the soft grip, these are a little bit more expensive. You buy these individually. You can buy them in sets, 
but um, you can also buy them individually. And what I'd recommend is these are really comfortable and they've got the slidey metal end. Um, what I'd recommend is that you find out which, you buy a cheap set and then you find out which hooks you use a lot. So I use two a lot and a four and a half a lot. So I invested in some of these um, in the sizes that I use a lot. Because if I'd bought a whole set, it would have been very expensive and I probably would never have used half of them. Um, this, this one, I got this free on a magazine. It's really comfy and easy to use, actually, especially when it's such a tiny hook um, on the end. I think this is a three. Um, these are really comfortable. Again, these come in sets of nice colours um, in a pouch. Really cheap again on the internet. These are going to be, a set of these are going to be in the giveaway. This is pastel colours. You can get brights. Um, I've got some brights here. So, yeah, again, lovely. They look lovely as photo props. Fantastic. Um, and I think... I think that's it all covered. The only one that I haven't covered is this one. These these are quite expensive. These are steel hooks and they are plastic coated and they're, they're, they're by a company called Prim who also make knitting needles. And when I think, sorry, I didn't burp then. It was a funny noise that came out my throat because I don't drink. When I think of knitting needles and crochet hooks, this is what I think of. This is the traditional styly for me and they're really durable and again, they're a little bit more expensive. Buy them in singles. So again, buy one in a size that you use a lot. So this, I've got a four and a half. And I think I've got a two or something. Um, yeah. So really, um, I'd recommend for starters, these. A set of cheap aluminium hooks. Or a set of these which are a little bit more comfortable to use. Depending on what you're working on. But if you're do if you're crocheting with that hook for a long time, you I mean I always advocate stopping and giving your fingers a good stretch, but you are gonna it's gonna get uncomfortable, it's gonna get hot, um, and the and your hands gonna start slipping and stuff. The one thing about these is, if you have been crocheting and you put your hook down with your other hooks and forget which hook you were using, just feel them and the warm one is the one you were using. Tip there. So that's it, yeah, that's crochet hooks. So I'm gonna do a little video um, on my stash, you know, stash essentials, uh, but I just wanted to run through different types of hooks on the market and make my recommendations for a beginner. And as I said, these aluminium ones, maybe these, but definitely these, are my absolute um, recommendation for a beginner. Okay, hope that was helpful, bye-bye.